I will be able to get what I need at Smith's, but that'll mean a bus trip, and I uh, rather appreciate being able to walk. So for more than a year now, many people living in the International District who used to rely on the Walmart that's off San Mateo for groceries, well, instead, they've had to search far and wide just to find some fresh produce. Our Foreign Investigates team highlighted the food desert this caused for so many people who no longer had easy access to healthy food. But there may be light at the end of this very dark tunnel for people living in that area. Our KOB4 team has learned that the property is currently listed, quote, under contract. Feliz Romero joins us now with more on what that means. So, Feliz, you spoke with someone from the Health Equity Council about what it also means for our community. Yeah, Trevor Tessa, Enrique Cardiel says the Walmart off San Mateo closing made it nearly impossible for many people in the area to get fresh food. Now, we don't know what's going up in that space, but just the fact that it's under contract is giving people hope. It's been more than a year since the Walmart parking lot off San Mateo has looked like this. The news of its closing took many by surprise last February when KOB asked how it would impact them. I think the closest would be Smith's up on Lomas. I will be able to get what I need at Smith's, but that'll mean a bus trip, and I uh, rather appreciate being able to walk. A year later, this is what the once busy supermarket looks like now. There's people who because of disability would walk here and obviously they can't walk here anymore. The next closest thing was the Walgreens, uh, which is just a couple blocks away and that's closed now. Enrique Cardiel is part of the city's Health Equity Council. He says this part of town is a food desert. It's just not convenient or easy for folks to get to fresh food. You know, there's a lot of places where you could go buy processed food, super sugar enhanced type of food. But, you know, not fresh fruits and vegetables, you know, fresh meat, those kind of things. But not all hope is lost. According to a real estate website, the property is under contract. People would like there definitely to be a, a grocery to replace what was lost before, a pharmacy, uh, maybe banking services. Uh, you know, those were things that were inside the Walmart that disappeared with Walmart. It's still unclear what could be moving into this lot. Cardiel hopes it's something helpful to nearby residents. It's just a huge impact and it hits folks with less resources or with disabilities much harder than it hits everybody else. And so it's a health equity issue in that respect. Now, we were hoping to learn who would be moving into that spot from City Councilor Nicole Rogers. She represents this district. We reached out to her multiple times for comment and have not heard back. Tessa, Trevor.